Hey guys, for this week, Seeker is continuing our collaboration with The Swim to raise awareness about ocean health. And if you don't already know, our oceans ain't doing too hot. Plastic pollution is estimated to be between 5.3 to 14 million tons every year, and this is just from coastal regions. But there's one plastic in particular that's extra difficult to catch, black plastic. So typically, black plastic gets its color from carbon black pigments, which are what they sound like. They're tiny, fine particles composed of carbon that then get melted into the polymer of choice. It's cheap and durable to use, and once we're done with it, we chuck it in a waste bin, and hopefully it makes its way to a recycling facility to get properly sorted. But current sorting technology doesn't recognize that black pigment or what kind of plastic it is. Current sorting techniques use near-infrared cameras. These cameras are programmed to pick up the amount of light reflected back from the item and place it on the near-infrared spectrum. This helps determine what kind of plastic it is, but the problem is that black plastic doesn't reflect the signal back. Even when paired with a visible light camera, which can tell if that plastic is green, blue, clear, etc., it still can't detect black. Black absorbs virtually all light and doesn't reflect anything back. This is why black plastic is often miscategorized and heads to landfills, where it can end up sloughing off into our oceans. It's not like we want black plastic in our environment, but the demand for the color is just so high. We use black in our electronics, storage and food containers, appliances, utensils, practically everything. This could be because it's aesthetically pleasing, versatile, and probably the biggest factor, it's one of the cheaper options. But a recent study from the UK analyzed over 600 black plastic items and found they all had high concentrations of bromine, a flame retardant in electronics, which is definitely not supposed to be in there, right? Well, it seems that manufacturers are taking recycled e-waste and converting it into a new material source for black plastic. That means that bromine and its hazardous friends, antimony and lead, are making their way back into your plastic Tupperware. So what are ways we're trying to fix this? Well, some are saying let's just stop producing black plastic. Companies like Lidl and Tesco in the UK are removing black packaging from their food distributions. And globally, there are efforts to ban all kinds of plastic, with cities across the US banning plastic bags and straws, and the EU has drafted plans to stop single-use plastic production altogether, black and colorful alike. But until global overturn of plastic dependency happens, some might say, why not fix the machine and let it see black? It sounds simple, but changing equipment and installing it can be costly and time intensive. Current operations at recycling plants are monstrous warehouses with layers and layers of systems and techniques to sort out everything in your recycle bin, not just black plastic. We have drum feeders, human sorters, star screens, more human sorters, medium star screens, glass sorters, magnetic sorters, current separators, and then finally, the near infrared camera phase. But not all facilities in the US even have this. Right now, this might be the best method we have to sort through the plastic at the pace we need to, since the demand is so high. There was a new invention back in 2016 called black value. Instead of infrared, black value used a beam of terahertz radiation, which is between infrared and microwave radiation, that would analyze large quantities of falling shredded plastic and determine their chemical composition. If it IDs black plastic correctly, it'll use a high precision air blast to knock it out of the falling stream. Black Value had a 98 to 99% success rate, and their goal was to get it into market by the end of last year. But as of August 2017, they were still going through tests, and as far as we can tell, there's nothing in market. But another proposed alternative is making black plastic visible to the infrared cameras. RAP, a sustainability charity based in the UK, suggests using black colorants that are already made for reflecting light, like those used for coating roofing tile. They've conducted trials, picking out the most suitable pigments for food contact, industrial manufacturing, and sorting. They had some promising outlooks, but more research is needed to make this viable. So until things literally get sorted out, what are some simple ways we can help? Well, we can lower our demand for black plastic, or better yet, plastic altogether. And not that I'm one for trends, but saving the planet and ourselves, I think, is the new black. So how are you gonna reduce your use of black plastic? How about all plastic? If you have some helpful tips, why don't you share them down in the comments? Seeker is highlighting the swim for the rest of this week to bring awareness to the impact of pollution since it's one of the most important issues facing humanity today. We ask that you help us spread this message and subscribe to Seeker for all your environment updates. And thanks for watching.